What's up English 101 students? Welcome to summer 2020 and welcome to our English 101 course. I wanted to make a quick video uh, just to kind of describe the Canvas class and how to navigate it and where to click and all the necessary details about, um, you know, an, our, our online uh, learning space. So when you first log in, um, using your user ID and your password. Um, you want to click up here where it says home and you'll see this wonderful quote by Martin Luther King Jr. And I want you to read the quote and just reflect on it a little bit because I want you to really um, see if you can commit yourself into this fast paced eight weeks English 101 course. Um, because um, it's not like the regular semester where we have 16 weeks and we have, you know, more time. This course is taking a 16 week course and putting it all into eight weeks. So it goes really, really fast. And I want you to read this quote so that you can see if you're willing to really dedicate the time and effort needed to fulfill this class in, in this short amount of time. Afterwards, I want you to scroll down a little bit and I want you to click and open up this PDF file. This is our course syllabus for the entire semester and our week one quiz will be about our syllabus. So the first five questions of the quiz will be about the syllabus. And when you open up the syllabus, you'll see um, information about me, you know, how to log on to our Canvas, uh, materials required, the movies that we'll watch in this class, and um, the book that we'll read, and some important dates, uh, add dates, drop date, withdraw dates, um, and then also uh, instructions on how to access material for free, like the book and some of the movies will be on page two of the syllabus, and um, more information about the course in terms of what we'll read and, you know, like the course learning objective and um, student learning outcomes and kind of like the different activities that we'll do in the class. Here on page four, you'll also see the breakdown of your final grade and information about late policy and attendance, information about extra credit, very important, um, information about plagiarism consequences, uh, MESA resources that you might find helpful, um, ways to be successful in this class, and, um, you know, some protocol for how to communicate in an online class and keeping a safe and productive learning environment. Um, and then by the time you get to page seven, this is where you will see um, our weekly reading assignments and also the due dates for every single activity. And so I want you guys to really study this page very carefully on a regular basis. And then when you go to the very last part of the syllabus, page 9 and 10, you will see these helpful resources at San Diego Mesa College that will um, basically help you get through your college experience. So um, definitely reach out to any of these resources and uh, this way you'll have a you know successful time at Mesa College. So that's the first most important thing I want you to do when you um, you know log into the course because like I said, quiz number one will be based on the syllabus. The next thing I want you to do is I want you to scroll down a little bit more just like I'm doing and you'll see that I have organized the course so that all of our assignments and the due dates are in this order for chronological order. So for example, your introductory video assignment is due June 21st. Your quiz one is due June 21st. Uh, I'm sorry, your introductory video assignment is due June 20th. Your quiz one is due June 21st. Your essay one rough draft is due June 27th and so on. So all of the assignments that we will do for the entire semester are right here on the home page of Canvas. You don't have to go and click and figure things out. You don't have to go look for things in certain folders. Everything is right here lined up 
in chronological order for us to see uh, very clearly. And like I said, these due dates are also listed right here for us too. So one of the things that I want you to notice is that I'm trying to give you at least a day, sometimes more in between each assignment so that you can spend time doing the assignments. But as I mentioned, it's an eight week fast paced course. So things move really quickly. You know, we'll be doing our essay one rough draft on June 27th. But then, you know, just a few days later, July 5th, your essay one final draft is due. So we don't have too much time in between these major assignments. When you um, scroll down to uh, the very, very bottom of Canvas, you'll see the assignment sheet for our major assignments. And you can work on these assignments at your own time. So if you want to work ahead, uh, that's perfectly fine, up to you. Um, but essay one assignment sheet is here, essay two assignment sheet and lecture videos are here, essay three assignment sheet um, and lecture videos are here, and then these are the weekly readings that I'm providing to you all for free. So um, that's kind of a cool thing. We don't really have to buy a textbook for this class. Um, basically, when you click into each of these links, you will see you know, explanation on how to do the assignment, how many points is worth, and definitely, you know, read all of the details of the task so that you can earn full credit and not just partial credit, okay? So our very first assignment is to do our introductory videos. It's worth two points. And then here is instructions and the breakdown of the points and all that good stuff. So again, start at the home page. Um, and you know begin fulfilling each of these assignments one at a time. In regards to the quizzes, when you click into doing the quizzes, it'll tell you to read all of the material under week one before taking this timed 30-minute quiz. Um, the quizzes are um, worth four points each and there are always 10 questions per quiz. And so it is a timed Quiz. So, like I said, make sure you do your readings for each week before taking the quizzes. Even though it's week one, like I said, we have to jump into things very quickly. I want you guys to read um, the, our very first book, which is The Best We Could Do. And our essay number one will be about this book. It's a graphic memoir, very beautiful, written by author Thee Boy. And I think you guys will really enjoy it. And um, this book is a graphic memoir, so it actually moves really quickly. You can probably read it in one setting. It might take you two or three hours, um, but this is something that as soon as we get to week two, you're going to see assignments due for it, so you want to get started on reading it ASAP, okay? And uh, the way to access the book is you go to, again, where it says week two readings, and I've even put it in under week one readings as well. So if you click on week one, it'll you'll see, you know, our week one reading is your syllabus, this article, how to be a gentleman scholar. And then I've written begin reading the best we could do for next week, instructions on how to access it for free from the Mesa Library, and I've even made you a video for it. So those are just some things to um, to get started on our you know uh, summer course together okay so with that said i'm going to end this video um and uh just you know you'll probably hear from me once or twice a week with weekly reminders and announcements that i post for campus events or campus resources those announcements will be here under this link so today is the first day you probably haven't seen anything yet um, but, uh, you know, you'll, you'll see it throughout the eight-week course that we're together. Assignments and discussions um, will take you to our essay assignments and our discussion posts. This is where you'll uh, click on to see your scores. I update the gradebook on a weekly basis, so usually as soon as you fulfill the assignments for the week, I go in and I update your grade so you can see where you're at. This is where you'll see the quizzes. Um, you guys won't have access to these other links, but you will have access to 
um, two other important links. And one is the MT2C online tutoring. Um, this is where you will go and set up an appointment to make a um, you know, tutoring session uh, with a tutor so that they can review your essays with you. This is required. There's points for it. Um, and that way you will um, you will you know gain points for doing writing center tutoring for your essays. Um, there's also another great link, Mesa Online Student Support Services here. Um, you can click onto it, and if you have any questions um, about it, you can always ask me. Um, to send me a message, you can send me a message by going into your inbox, or you can email me. Uh, my email is located here on the syllabus, and um, yeah, so um, we'll we'll be together for the next eight weeks. Um, my office hours are pretty much any time, any day. Weekends and evenings are perfectly okay. Um, like you, I'm stuck at home, so any interactions I can have with my students, um, I really enjoy. So uh, feel free to reach out anytime and don't hesitate. Um, there's no such thing as a bad question. So uh, I'm here for you. This is my job um, to be there for you. So uh, I just want you to uh, really, really know that. Okay, so with that said, I'll keep it short and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Happy first day and happy first week of the summer semester.